Hello, and today I will review this Power 20 uh, drone, one of three, because at the Bet FPV site you can find three different Power 20. First is this one, it's just Power 20, it is 2 inch uh, FPV drone. Uh, there are also Power 20 Pro, which is actually bigger, which is 2 and 2 uh, inch drone. It has bigger frame, bigger props, bigger engines. And there are, and there is another one drone, Power 20 Pocket, which uh, is uh, similar to this one by the side, but it has very different flight controller, appropriate flight controller. So here is the difference, and let's go deeper with this Power 20. Okay, so what do we have inside? We've got LED strip, it's good. We've got uh, spare props, uh, two wing props. Uh, we've got four items and USB connector. There is no prop removal, so we'll check how it goes. We have a set of tools to connect a digital module, including two small antennas. And finally, the drone itself. As you can see, drone is very similar by sizes to Cetus X, uh, but even Cetus looks a bit bigger, but it actually has the same parameters. So just because of these ducts are bigger for Cetus, so it seems bigger, but this one is much more durable. I cannot, almost cannot rotate it at the same time Cetus makes this way. And here we've got a uh, carbon plate and uh, separate uh, ducts, which should be very durable. I remember uh, Power 35, which has uh, similar con construction and principle, works very good. Uh, what else do we have? This is analog, this is digital. By default it is digital, but it's better flight uh, chipset, so you can install analog video system here as well. It doesn't go with any video system from the market, so you have to buy it by yourself. Uh, what else? The difference in motors. There is one. Uh, size of motors is a similar, one, 103 but uh, KV is uh, bigger at Cetus. Here we've got 11,000 and here we've got 8,500, sorry, hundreds. So it looks like uh, power has less KV, but it is not correct. Power is 3S, so when we apply the 2 or 3S, we can see that power has actually totally higher rotation speed. Remind uh, Cetus fly on uh, throttle position about 35 to 45% and this we will check. What else do we have? Uh, this is wire to connect digital system. By default it uh, supposed only DJI 03 installation, so uh, without any modification. But I have only avatar system so i will have to diy a bit this uh, stuff to install avatar it should be digitally compatible but hardware hard part is a bit different so we'll have to modify and what else do we have we've got this chipset uh, 20 amperes and on setos we've got 12 or 15 amperes depending on the year of production so high amperes and high voltage. Uh, here we've got 3S battery with XT30 uh, connector. So higher voltage, higher current, but still we have uh, simple connectors to connect motors. Uh, for Cetus it was a bad stuff because uh, with time it uh, got oxid, coverage it uh, got uh, burn so these connectors are not the ideal uh, stuff so probably you could uh, uh, remove connectors and uh, melt here wires directly to flight controller 
we will keep it in mind. Okay, let's check what do we have on in configurator and install video system. So what we've got inside and from this side we've got actually nothing very interesting but the bind button and connectors for connecting engines and that is a surprise for me because 20 Ampere 3S and connecting by this V connector that's I'm not sure if it is good solution I don't know what was behind of the decision to use connectors but I will replace with it it with direct soldering. Next. And here we can see much more interesting stuff. First of all, we've got a barometer. That's good. We've got somewhere here a black box about 16 megabytes. That's also very good if you would like make some configuration or backup, so whatever. As for connections, we've got as bus, we've got two serials, we've got buzzer, we've got LED connection, and the power 5 volt and 9 volt. And what else do we have? First, this is a digital chip. You don't have analog OSD chip here, so you don't have uh, analog input and output. No more analog. Just keep it as it is. But you can reconfigure this one to use uh, whether DJI or Avatar. You know that Avatar has a very small compact chip for 1S and you probably would like to switch this one from 9 volts to lower voltage to do not damage your uh, Avatar. Z then you just need to move this uh, detail from here to here and you will have 5 volts instead of 9 volts that's good and the next update if you don't like this internal ELRS module by the way it is UARC it's full serial ELRS module you can use uh, bet FPV 24 gigahertz all in one build target to flash it but if you don't need this, but unexpectedly, if you need your own ELRS or whatever module, you can turn it off. Absolutely. You just have to remove one detail, two, three details, and you will get the ELRS, the serial bus free. And you can use this serial to connect your own receiver module instead of this one and this one will be absolutely turned off and will not spoil everything with its own radio that is very useful stuff okay so now i will make a bit of magic of uh, video editing so what have i connected here because as you can see, I have soldered wires directly. Please be very accurate because here are MOSFETs, it's very near and if you be not accurate, you can damage MOSFET by your soldering station. Next, I have connected the buzzer. So let's connect it somewhere like this because I'm going to fly outside hope it will not be unused and I will connect the LED strip so something like this okay and probably that's all modification that I've got now a bit of uh, configuration And now, if you would like to uh, connect uh, your video, as my friend recommended, I have bought the separate uh, Voxnail Avatar Mini V3 and the separate Avatar Pro camera. It is about too big for the frame. 
it will uh, stay far outside so be careful when so be careful when flying it is very big maybe i will protect it somehow else but uh, i would like this one because it has inside gyros gyro data saved i connect it here because it's cross compatible and connect small antenna and that's another one trick by default uh, avatar has four pin connector and this one has six pin connector so you just take the six pin wire take a nodule or how can i call it put it here uh, move up the plastic holder and you can take out the wire so you can replace native 4 bit connectors to 6 bit connectors just like I have done so now I can connect it here something like that okay please keep in mind that you will need update uh, firmware of this and of your Googles to modern one because it's rather new chip. Uh, just as told before, you uh, put the firmware file here, turn everything on with a battery because without battery it will not work. Wait for it to start and press and hold this button for about 8 seconds until it reboot. After it reboot, it will pick up software automatically. The same is with the helmet. Okay, let's assemble everything back. Okay, to connect, uh, just turn on your uh, drone and wait for one minute and it will switch to Wi-Fi mode and uh, open the Wi-Fi network express LRS RX. If you previously took connected to any of them, then reset it and reconnect from scratch. You will need the password express LRS. Let's try. Yeah, express LRS. And please keep in mind that your drone should stay as close to the Wi-Fi antenna of your PC as possible because uh, antenna is very so, uh, small and it may lose connection. Okay, we open this IP address and what we can see. And we can see that uh, it already has LRS 3. So we do, don't need to flash it with a new model, but just in case if you would like, you should use the uh, target uh, uh, bet FPV all in one to need four. And now we just simply add the pairing phrase and press save and reboot. Connect everything, go to receiver and check yes yes it works and while we are fit here let's check configuration maybe let's check ports as you can see uart3 is used for serial rx LRS. uart4 is configured for video transmitter high definition we've got beta flight for 4 we've got uh, osd already configured as high definition yeah, high definition and video transmitter configuration empty. By the way, we've got LED strip configuration. It's in case you would like to connect your LED strip. So that's all. Ah, no, that's not all. Uh, let's check configuration more. Here in config you should have uh, RX set turned on. This is needed to make uh, external buzzer actually beeps when you use corresponding switch. And let's configure the switch. Okay. 
here you got a uh, beeper you should recheck that it's configured so you can turn on both by the remote switch and this one usl1 it's uh, used for enabling disabling the led strip also should be configured to the corresponding channel And now let's test and fly. And it flies very good and very fast and uh, you can actually fly rather much faster than I'm flying here. Unfortunately, don't have enough room place to test high heats, but it do just. Trust me from other tests that I have not recorded. And uh, it controls uh, enough good for sure. The control is not so smooth as for Air 65, but it's an absolutely different weight. So you can feel that it's more heavy, more powerful. So you should keep it in mind. But if you use two, you can control it another way. Okay, and what's about the camera? The combination of Nano V3 with Pro camera shows itself very good. The video is stabilized in Hero 4, no problem with stabilization. The only thing that I would notice is uh, probably I will need the ND filter for such light that you like to take. Okay, and taking all conclusions, uh, uh, it is a rather good solution for digital flying uh, because, uh, yeah, it is not as light as Air 65. Uh, definitely about 27 grams and 130 grams. You can feel this uh, is much more heavy, but still it, is, it stays uh, low below the edge. It is much lower than 250 grams, so 130 with battery, it's very, very good results for a digital solution. And it is a 3S, it's rather powerful, it's much more faster and much more tricky, not tricky, but it can make better treats than you know, old uh, Zetus, so rather good solution, and I can recommend it.